Hello, everybody. I wanted to make this special message for you because there are some things that I really want you to know before you graduate from Indiana Wesleyan University. Um, if you hear some crackling, it's because I have a fire right here be beside me or behind me. Um, I've been spending a great deal of the morning uh, looking over your papers, reviewing them, and I am seeing um, some things across the board that I really want you to know before you graduate. It's been uh, heavy on my heart this morning to have you realize that you are not only graduating from Indiana Wesleyan, um, but you're graduating from an online program. And it's my program. And I've been your facilitator for so many courses. And so you are going to go out into the world representing um, Indiana Wesleyan, the psychology program, as well as me as your professor. And so there are so many things that I want you to learn and to know before you leave. And, uh, and I know you can do it. All of you have shown such incredible improvement and your work is outstanding. But there's still some things to learn and to, and to do and to know and to implement. So let's get started. The first thing that I would love for you to do for workshop four, I think most of you have already completed workshop three Dropbox assignment. And so I don't want you to have to go back and redo those things, but I want you to focus on the Dropbox assignments for workshop four. So here's how I would go about writing uh, your final papers. They are reflection papers, so the use of I is permitted, but I want you to use it sparingly. I want you to show off how you know how to write a scholarly paper. So to begin with, please just draft an outline and your outline should look like this. In part one, there should be an introductory paragraph. That introductory paragraph would state the premise of what you're talking about and what you're going to talk about. And then it would list the subtopics of what you're going to talk about. For example, if my overall topic is leadership, I want to share that I am going to be discussing leadership with regard to conventional leadership, servant leadership, and then some of the specific characteristics of leadership. Then I'm going to cite that. I want you to go in strong, make your claims, and then cite. Give it the old one-two punch. Let your reader know that you mean business. State your claims. The use of I, I believe, in my opinion, ah, stay away, stay away when you're doing that in scholarly writing. You can do that in your reflection part. That's fine, but make sure that you don't, um, what I want, to, I want to say, make sure that you don't confuse the two and use the two at the same time. Keep the, the first part about information, provide that information, cite it, and then when you go into your reflection part, go ahead and use the word I. Give that from your heart. In your scholarly writing, I want to try to give you an example off the top of my head. Rather than stating something like, uh, I think that it's going to rain today, and I believe that it has rained almost every day, for the past month, well, no one's going to want to care about what I think or what I believe. I mean, that could be said around the kitchen table, and I'm not really sure that the people around the kitchen table much care what I think or believe either. So what I want you to do is state, it is going to rain today, citation. It has rained 29 days out of 30, citation. There is no room for I think, I believe, and all of you know this, so I want you to really show off this knowledge about APA writing. The thing that I want you to do is to really make sure that you're using the very basics of APA format. Times New Roman, 12 font, point, 12 point font, those are the basics. Your cover pages look great, so we've got that going for us. Then make sure that your citations include the author's last name and the date. If you're quoting, use a page number. There's only one period and it goes after the citation. That's no matter if you've used a direct quote, biblical reference, whatever it is, that period goes after the citation, never and not before. It's as if that citation is included in your sentence structure. All that being said, I want to share that the improvement overall is absolutely fabulous. This is a wonderful cohort. I want to see you graduating with all the knowledge that I can give you uh, and to go out and to know how to become 
how to write in a scholarly way, how to discuss things in a scholarly way, how to really show off that you are a college graduate. I'm going to hold you to the highest standards. I want to use red marks all over your papers because this is the last time that I'll get to do that. And I want you to be prepared when you walk across that stage and when you get that diploma that you will know that you have done the very best that you can possibly do.